Welcome to Persimmon Hill Farm. My name is Ernie Boner. My wife and I started Persimmon Hill Farm in 1982. Uh, at the time we planted two acres of blueberries and we started uh, going from there and planting um, blackberries and elderberries and we raise shiitake mushrooms here on the farm. We, uh, we're, we are primarily a U-Pick berry farm and we do a lot of processing on the farm as well as far as making jams and barbecue sauces and syrups and muffins and all kinds of different things there. I think what we sell primarily is the, is the experience that people can have when they come onto the farm. Uh, they can have a family experience, but they also, I think that there's a need that people feel to, to be in an agricultural setting, to pick their own food. It's educational. It's, I guess they call it soft adventure in a sense. People just seem to really enjoy that. I don't think it's a, and the, the, the berries cost them a little bit less, but I don't think that's, a, that's the issue at all. I think the issue is having the experience, being able to hear, be here, being able to be here with your friends and your family and doing a, an event that's, that's meaningful. And one of, the, one of the issues that we uh, addressed in our, in our SARE grant, um, in Missouri, it seems like uh, when, when, plants, when a planting gets to a certain age, it starts kind of digressing a little bit and going downhill. We wanted to look at a at a way. Nobody had had too much good, too much success in replanting, and we wanted to take a look at the various soil amendments that we could use, or um, uh, techniques that we could use to bring a, a planting back, uh, or or not bring it back, but to, to replant and and have a successful planting. And that's what we're doing. And we're we're in our third leafing in the field with our our um, um, replacement uh, field here, and it's been real successful. You know, it's 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 going about like you'd expect for. A, three-year-old plantings, which is a huge success for us because we will have a, a nice field. Uh, we chose Duke as the, as the uh, variety of blueberries that we're uh, uh, utilizing here. We selected several different soil amendments. We uh, uh, worm casting tea. We also inserted worms in uh, um, some of the rows, or actually in, in, the, in the planting. We also take a look at uh, pine bark. Uh, we, uh, we, since we raised shiitake mushrooms, we ground up the shiitake logs and um, utilized those as a, well, we composted those and utilized those as a soil amendment. And then we used uh, coffee grounds, uh, all five of those. And we, we did the, 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 the bulk of this planting, we used all of those amendments. But in row 81, right over here, we used, um, uh, it, it, we, we, we subdivided each one of, the, one of those plantings into uh, 14 test plantings, and we utilized one of those amendments in each one of those uh, segments of, uh, of row. And that's just very interesting. At this point, uh, we don't have conclusive evidence, but it seems that we're very pleased that we used the, the combination of all. Those, those seem to be doing the very best, so we're very pleased with that. But uh, also, we found that, that the inclusion of the, the earthworms and the uh, coffee grounds was very valuable. When we plant blueberries, I think uh, we will be using at this point. It may change as we go, you know, through the, the rest of this project. We're going to take data for several several more years, but I think we, we're going to always use um, coffee coffee grounds. We will always include uh, the the worms uh, uh, in, in each planting hole. I think that's real important to have a have a good. Uh, uh, <laughs> environment for them or a, a good a good stock of worms in there working for you um, and I think we we'll probably will continue with with um, pine bark a person can use a sphagnum peat moss but I don't think it's that there's a magic thing about sphagnum peat moss I think it I think the organic matter can be of the other sources and I think that I, I really like the idea of the uh, the worms that we use I think they they are real valuable and they seem to be really really doing a good job